Hi all folks, this is Max from High on Android.com. So um, today uh, we're gonna I'm gonna show you my favorite keyboard, which is off the uh, Samsung um, Galaxy S2. Um, it's the default keyboard. I really like it because just the sound of the Samsung Touch and also the vibration. It's not too long, and it's just perfect uh, for me to type on. And the keyboard is very similar. I have it on uh, the first time I saw this kind of keyboard was on a Korean version of the Optimus 2X. Um, but you don't have to have these devices. Uh, I figured out you can use Go keyboard to replicate it on a phone that's not supported. Um, oh, do you like my ice cream um, unlocker, by the way? Anyway, uh, what you'll need is a Go keyboard. Um, See how this thing sucks? I don't have any feedback. I find that you can type faster if you have the right sound and the right vibration, which is not too long. But you can do it with uh, Go Keyboard because it lets you um, customize the sound of the keyboard and also how long the, it vibrates for. And I found the magic number that corresponds to the keyboard on the, um, the Galaxy S2 and also um, my Optimus 2X. I find this one a little bit better, the Galaxy S2. I, I think it's just a perfect keyboard. Um, but I can pretty much get the exact same combo with Go Keyboard. Uh, so go install Go Keyboard. Alright. And that way, um, open it. It's really about the settings of the vibration and the sound. And choose Go Keyboard, choose Go Keyboard, say OK. Go back, switch to Go Keyboard and go keyboard right and then we're gonna go display settings um, select theme and instead of the default one this is like the most similar to the Samsung so hit download um, this is the black theme install alright and while that's installing we can go back to the uh, it's gonna give you that tutorial when you try to first type just Ah, screw this, right? And then you'll come to this menu. Uh, you can also get to this menu by um, going to your keyboard. Okay, let me get, just go through this. All right. Oh, and also you can select English and uh, another language um, or multiple languages. I like to type in Korean. Um, this keyboard also supports that, which is awesome. I don't have to get another keyboard for it. So, and that's done. Let me go try to type now. So that's the default keyboard. Let me change out the theme. You can always hit that button to go to theme settings. And then, ah, there's a, a bunch of other themes too. Um, enable this that I downloaded. All right. And the bad part is I gotta open up that. So now, now I've got this keyboard, but you see that yucky sound it's like a like a 1950s typewriter or something so I'm gonna switch it out hit that button and sound and vibrate um, change the sound to iPhone oh, I don't like iPhone Samsung it's just perfect I like that sound you like that sound and I like to put it I like to get it pretty loud louder the better yeah well no, that's too loud maybe right about there it depends on your phone um, some, and then vibration, I find that 12 is perfect, 12 or 11, uh, right around there, and then let me see, let me try to type now, oh, actually on the Evo 4G, just get it so it's kind of like, just vibrates enough, not too much, you know, um, so I'm gonna change the vibration a little bit, maybe Maybe 8, 17. Let me try that. No, actually, I'm not getting anything. Um, so you might have to adjust it just so it just starts vibrating. Maybe 24. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Just so I can kind of feel just a little bit. And this is so nice. I can type so fast. You know? Sorry, I'm at an angle. Let me try to do it this way and try to type as fast as I can. Um... Hello there, my forehand. Okay, that kind of sucks. But anyway, this is my favorite keyboard. You should try it out. Um, 
well set up that I can kind of go close to on another phone um, if I'm not using Galaxy S2. Uh, let's try and gadget. Yeah, sorry, I'm typing sideways. That's why I'm missing. Um, but I really like this keyboard. Anyway, check it out. Um, this is what I have it uh, set up on all my phones now. Um, this is like replica kind of of the um, uh, of the yeah. So you can tweak it a little bit, and uh, you, you'll find it. I think I gotta tweak the sound a little bit. Anyway. That was the keyboard of the week, Android keyboard for, of the week. Um, just personally, I really like this. And if you haven't tried a, a Galaxy S2 keyboard with the vibration and the sound on, um, then you can try this method that I showed you on any Android phone. Anyway, thanks y'all. Subscribe. I'll uh, have more cool videos. I'm uh, actually in the process of um, compiling for my Epic 4G users. Uh, I've actually running... Um, Epic 4G Zenomax kernel um, version 6 Epic Touch kernel yeah look at that it's uh, uh, what I did is I uh, my original kernel had uh, it was actually over voltage so it was draining a lot of battery um, so I actually under -volted it as much as possible and now uh, the battery should last actually like 20 30 percent longer than stock at um, Set with set CPU at 1.2 gigahertz and also um, at 1.4 gigahertz. Uh, at 1.5, you're gonna start maybe it's gonna be about the uh, stock. So I, I would say the optimal is 1.4 gigahertz overclocked on this ROM. But I should have testing of this complete by tomorrow because I need like a day to actually test out um, the battery life. But uh, in theory, it's supposed to give me 20, 30 percent more but I'm gonna test it against my AT&T and maybe have both running um, like a Pandora like for a couple hours and see how the battery uh, stacks up anyway that's coming next see y'all later I always do this uh, I, f I forgot to mention this another thing if you're a multilingual and uh, then uh, this one is really cool because it you can press that button and I can quickly uh, if my mom emails me in Korean which she does I can quickly um, switch to Korean and still have my Galaxy S2 like keyboard um, on my Korean. Uh, that's my Korean name I wrote. Um, hello there in Korean. <laughs> anyway, um, that's really cool. The keyboard is also multilingual. That's one of the cool features. Um, so anyway, hopefully your language is supported. I think it is. See y'all later.